everyone, Penny and Guy from Midwinter Minis here. In this episode of our Speed Painting Blackstone Fortress series, we're going to paint UR025 in fast, easy steps. I've been really looking forward to this one actually. It's one of the models I'm using in our campaign at the moment, so it'll be good to finally get him painted. So let's start the timer and begin. We initially primed the model with white, but because we did quite a thin coat so as not to obscure the detail, there are a couple of areas where the red plastic is still slightly visible. So the first thing to do is use your standard brush and some white paint to make sure the whole thing is white before continuing. Once you're happy you've got the whole thing covered, get your grey paint out, and still using your standard brush, start to paint the understructure of the robot, its joints, as well as the gun and ammo feed. Also, while we've got the grey out, paint the rocks and debris that you added to the base. You really don't need to be that neat when you do this, as the next step will hide lots of imperfections in the base coat. And when the grey is dry, grab your black wash, null oil by Citadel in this case, and paint the whole model. Yep, the whole thing. Null oil is seriously speed painting in a bottle. I would normally recommend trying to spread out pooling areas of the wash, but as we're going for a heavy weathered look, be as sloppy and quick as you like. And while you're waiting for your black wash to dry, grab your black paint and give the rims and base their first coat of black. Be careful around the robot's feet and any of the debris that you added as well. Give all that about 20 minutes to dry fully and make sure none of it has that shiny wet look before carrying on, because the next step we'll use our white paint and our dry brush to bring back that armour to a weathered white look. Using an absorbent surface, work the white into the bristles and then sweep your dry brush across the model's armour plates. Which is basically the whole thing except the gun. Also catch the little bits of debris on the base as well. Now we'll create a nice orange to paint its spindle drone smashing claw. Mix up a paint with two parts yellow and one part red and paint the robot's claw, the lamp on its belly, as well as the two lights on its torso. You may want to swap out to your detail brush for the two smaller lights. While we wait for that orange to dry, we'll give the base and rims another coat of thinned black paint to make sure that none of the white undercoat shows through. Again, using the same dry brush technique we used to bring the white back up, we'll use silver paint to add some metallic shine to the gun arm and ammo feed. Just lightly drag the brush over the gun from side to side. Don't push too hard as we want the recesses to stay nice and dark. For the final step in our speed paint, we'll add some brown wash to the claw arm and to the belly lamp to give the grill some definition. So unbelievably, in just 28 minutes of hands-on painting time, the speed paint is complete. Simple, effective and super fast and ready for the gaming table. If you want to spend a little bit more time adding extra detail, we'll show you how just another 20 minutes of work can add another level to the paint job. One way of really making your model stand out is by using water transfers. If you're anything like Guy, you might have a few sheets of transfers lying around. Take a look through your collection and find one you like. We went for this RAF roundo from a Spitfire transfer sheet. UR025 is supposed to be tens of thousands of years old, so it makes sense that he might have had a stint in the Royal Air Force, right? He's so aerodynamic and all. <laughs> to apply the transfer, first cut out the transfer you want to use using scissors or a hobby knife, and try to get as close to the transfer as you can. Once you've cut out the transfer, submerge it in a little bit of water and wait for about one minute. Occasionally tap it with your paintbrush, and at some point it will release from the paper. When this happens, use your wet paintbrush to slightly moisten the part of the model you want to cover with the transfer, scoop up the transfer with your brush and carefully lay it in place. And while it's still wet, use your brush to move the transfer into the right position uh, with a little gentle poke and prodding here and there, and when it's where you want it to be, use a bit of paper towel to gently dab off the moisture. This should stop it moving around so easily. 
Without some sort of varnish, these are prone to flaking or coming off entirely, so we'll use some of the matte Mod Podge that we used in the first episode of our series to paint over the transfer. This should help it hold it in place, and also dull down the glossy finish they tend to have. While the Mod Podge is drying, we'll add a drop of blue and a drop of white paint to our palette, and paint the two screens. First, paint the screens blue using your detail brush. Add a little white into your blue and paint the bottom half of the screens with this slightly paler blue. Then add a little more white to the mix and add a couple of random dots. This is a really simple way of painting screens and it looks cool on the tabletop. We can also use this technique to make his eye sensor thing more interesting. Paint the whole strip blue, then make it progressively lighter towards the center, finishing it off with a tiny white dot in the middle. If you accidentally make a mess around the eyes, you can clean up the edges with some thinned white paint. Now let's paint the handles on the power pack and chest brown. And when you've done that, with a little thinned yellow paint, add a dot of yellow highlight to each section of his belly lamp, avoiding the grill. Add a bit of white to your yellow, and add a tiny final highlight to the central panels on the lamp. And this guy's been around for millennia, and a bit of corroded battle damage would certainly make him look the part. To do this, we'll use a sponge brush. If you don't have one already, let me quickly show you how to make one. Grab a cocktail stick or a wood kebab skewer, and snap it so it's a reasonable brush size. Grab some foam, it could be any foam like packing foam or a sponge, so long as it has a nice texture, and rip off a small section. Apply some super glue to the end of your stick, and wrap that bit of foam around it. Voila! A sponge brush. It's beautiful. To add some heavy weathering, we'll add a drop of black paint next to the brown we used to paint our handles, and dab our sponge brush into it. Don't mix it too much, as we want a little bit of variation in tone. Now, dab your sponge brush out on an absorbent surface, Guy's using an MDF blank so you can see what sort of pattern it's leaving behind. You don't want too much paint, just enough to leave a light texture. Now, sparingly tap the sponge brush against exposed parts of UR025's armour. Try to think where things would naturally hit it, or where he might have had to squeeze through tight corridors and scratched his paintwork. Be careful to avoid the lights and the screens. And once you're happy with your weathering, we'll grab our brown wash again, and using your detail brush, we'll streak it down from each point of damage. This gives the impression that the rust has stained the paint. Finally, we'll also use this brown wash to shade the handles that we painted brown, as well as reinforcing any recesses in the gun arm that you'd like to make stand out. And that's it for this tutorial. Before we show you the finished model, a quick shout out to Josh and Kira, Neil and Gregory for supporting the channel this week. Your donations help us invest in new models, materials and equipment for the channel to help make better videos for everyone, so thank you so much. In less than 49 minutes of active painting time, UR025 is done and looking awesome. Heavily weathered paint jobs look great and are quite easy to pull off with the right base colours and techniques. In the next video, we'll be painting up the space pope himself, Taddy as the Purifier. Catch you then! Bye for now! Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that we have an Instagram. So cash. It's MW Minis. You should follow or whatever you do on Instagram. Bye! Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>